get this going on here. And like I was saying here, um, while I was going through all y'all chats here as we start the show off here, I was really thrown for a loop here. I hate the fact that we are starting this live stream here with bad news. You know what I mean? Shout out to my man, Lance Reddick here. Lance Reddick. If y'all don't know who Lance Reddick is, Lance Reddick is a black African-American actor who's been in the game for, man, I've been seeing him act over 20 years, but I know that he's been in the game for over 30 or 40 years, right? Um, I seen Lance Reddick, when I first saw him, was on The Wire and as well as Oz. I, you know, back then, and HBO was really popping on their TV programming. Of course, Oz came first. I, I literally talked about Oz the other day to a couple of my friends, right? Like, yo, man, I got to start Oz again, man. It's been a while since I watched Oz, man. You know, Oz, and then, of course, The Wire, Baltimore native as well. You know, The Wire, one of the best iconic shows of all time. I don't care what anybody says. The Wire is one of the best shows of all time time that is one of the few shows that i can say that i have rewatched every single episode when i started i start from episode one season one and i go all the way to the end i finish off on season five to that last episode i do it every single year guys every single year i go ahead and restart you know the wire and then of course you know he's on other roles as well but you know the one of the things he's done recently is being the john wick franchise he was in the first three john wicks and also they had recorded uh john wick four is coming out this month here and of course he's going to be in john wick four as well guys so let me just let me just pull the art i got the article up here lance riddick star of john wick and the wire dead at 60. lance riddick I'm going to go highlight here so you guys can see. Lance Riddick, a longtime character actor, best known for his roles on The Wire and the John Wick franchise, has died. He was 60. He was found dead at his home in Los Angeles, fr Los Angeles Friday morning, according to his rep, Mia Hansen. Hansen said Riddick died from natural causes. Lance will be greatly missed. Reddick's death comes as a shock to movie fr fans as he was in the middle of a press tour for John Wick Chapter 4, where he reprised his role as Sh Sharon. He did not attend the red carpet premiere of the film earlier this week. Reddick starred, hit, started his acting career in the 90s, appearing in New York Undercover, The Nanny, Oz, Friends, Bosch. He is survived by his wife, Stephanie, and children, Yvonne and Christopher. Guys, this is sad. I mean, Lance Riddick is a good, he's a great actor to me. I've always, always, always loved him on the screen anytime that he was in a scene you knew that he was not going to be the one who's going to bring that scene down if anything there were moments in his acting career where that he uplifted those shows those movies those scenes to be where they're at today like personally to see his growth on the wire when he first started as lieutenant daniels and then how he was just you know he his background wasn't wasn't squeaky clean, but he tried to maneuver like a squeaky clean officer. He always wanted to play by the book in his role here. And you saw his character grow from lieutenant, and then he was in leading roles, and then he moved up to being the commissioner of Baltimore before he had to step down by the end of the series, basically, right? And no matter who he was working with in those scenes, you know, whether he was working with Bunk Moreland in the show, or it's like, I saw someone say, Omar coming! <laughs> you know, shout out, you know, shout out to, uh, 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 I forgot his name too as well but um damn it's just it's sad to hear that so many black men who we see on the screen who we support who we rock with it's just dying at such young ages 60 is not old guys 60 is not old at all i mean i'm 17 years away from i just turned 43 i'm 17 years away from that and that's that may seem like a long time but next thing you know uh, almost two decades will be here just like that. And how many times have I said to our peoples here, guys, what's going on, Raging Half Asian? I see you, man. How many times have I said here that, you know, we got to appreciate every day as we move forward here. You know, as we as adults here, as we get on with our age, as we go on day by day, we have to recognize that, you know, time waits for no man. Time waits for no man. And if you are trying to do something, put all your efforts to doing something as long as it's not bringing you down or people around you down. Make sure you're putting your goals 
first and striving to be the best person you are. Because the one thing that we don't want to do, shout to Jay-Z, is living with regrets, you know? Because who wants to get to a certain point in our life when you look back and say, damn, I wish I would have done that. Damn, I wish I could have done this here. I wish I would apply my time to this here. I wish I could have done this here, right? You know, so especially for the people that's around us here, make sure we shout out the people who we love and who we rock to, who we rock with, who we care about as well. And for us black men, guys, we have to take care of ourselves. I don't know. They said natural causes with him at 60 years old, but man, 60 is so young, right? And he was a man who was in good shape. Every time I see him in scenes, pause. I wasn't checking for him, but he had his shirt off a lot in a lot of shows and movies. But he was a man who kept himself in shape and was diligent. So I don't know if he may have had some other illnesses uh, in his life or any things that may have, you know, sped up the process of his, you know, time coming to an end here. But fellas, do yourselves a favor here. Favor here. Take yourself to the doctor. Make sure you get yourself a regular doctor. Like I was talking earlier about my doctor. Make sure you get regular checkups so that if there's something that does come about, we can catch it early. They're saying he died from natural causes, but 60 is too young for our black men to say he died from natural causes. You know? You know I'm a pause the police. <laughs> You're right, PA. So, guys, you know, shout out to uh, Lance Reddick. Rest in peace to him. We're losing so many of our brothers here, especially actors, athletes that we're seeing here that we grew up with on the scene here, you know, and it's like they're not, they're here today and they're gone tomorrow. So for our loved ones here that you rock with, tell them you love them. Tell them, you know, tell them, give them a phone call and tell them, hey, and say what's up to them, guys, you know. So RIP to Lance Reddick. And one more thing before I end this segment here, RIP to the actor who played Nipsey and Martin. He also passed away. I got the link a couple of days ago. I don't. Let me see if I can pull up his real name. Hold on, guys. Let me pull this up here. You guys remember the show Martin. You guys love Martin. Hold on here. Yep. His name was Sean Lampkin, a.k.a. Nipsey, from the show Martin. He ran the show Nipsey's, right? He, was, he wasn't an old guy either. He was a young brother in the show, Martin. He also passed away this week as well. So rest in peace to him as well. Right, T. Lee? You know, Chadwick was healthy until he contracted cancer. And then by the time he found he had cancer, it was already at stage four, knocking on stage five. So it was just a matter of time for him that we saw here, you know. So RMP to uh, Lance Reddick, man. May he rest in peace, man. Good actor. But, you know, at, at least we're going to see some of his best work, some some more work going forward here. John Wick Ford's going to come out, and he's in that as well. And I don't know if I'm wrong or right on this one. I believe they recorded John Wick 4 and 5 at the same time. So if they did record John Wick 4 and 5 at the same time, we're at least going to see him in some more content before it's over here. So rest in peace to Lance Reddick, man. What a good actor, man. What a good actor. Oh, boy. Let me see. Who else is in? Oh, 